Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, we have some amazing news to release to you. The 24th Constitutional Carry State is now official, and it is Indiana. Now, this is not only horrible nightmare fuel for the gun controllers across the board because they are losing after state after state after state. We are almost at 50% of the states becoming constitutional carry this year. I'm going to give you two more of the states that are the last two stragglers that could become either one, the 50th or the 25th state, putting us at 50% this year for constitutional carry. This is incredible stuff. I've got everything linked in the description box below. Make sure you send this one out because this is something to maintain our momentum. This is incredible, guys. I cannot understate the excitement that I have for this situation. Now, everything, like I said, is linked. Make sure you send it out, and I want to hear from you. I'm going to do a quick read for our sponsor and made this video possible, and then we're going to hit all those details. Now, Pyramid Air is sick of the situation, and if you were in the world in the last two years, you know what the situation was. So they are giving away thousands of targets and stickers and want to see your frustration as well. They want to see you filming, snapping, or even talking about how you take your frustration out on these targets in a truly American way. To thank you for joining the fun, they are giving away $5,000 of shopping sprees weekly. First place is 3K, second place is 1.5, and third place is $500. Anyone can enter, no purchase is necessary. Check out the link in the description box below for, to find out more details. And thank you so much to Pyramid Air for making these videos possible. But now, let's dive into this because there's a lot of nuance that went in with this bill and also the other ones I'm going to update you on. I cannot wait to let you know what is happening with our rights. Okay. Governor Holcomb signs permitless carry law, vetoes transgender sports bill. Don't care about that second part. We're talking about the first part. This is really important because there's two ways that he could have gone here, or really three. He had the option to veto this bill. He had the option to sign into law, which he did, or he had the option to not do anything and become the law by default. He chose the, act in, the action of actually signing into law, which is, number one, good on him, but it's also a signing. It's not just... Well, it happened. You know, you can revoke it because no one signed it. No, this is a direct action. That's incredibly important. And like I said, this happened like 20 minutes ago as of the filming of this video. The next thing that I want to read to you is the actual statement that he made. Because very similar to DeWine in Ohio, he made very similar references. And I want to draw, something, draw your attention to something when I finish this. Now, the Second Amendment has been debated for years. Yet time and again, our U.S. Supreme Court has reaffirmed this important constitutional right that I fully support. 23 other states have laws comparable to HEA 1296. Now, that's the actual law that he just signed into law. Vermont has had constitutional carry law in place since it became a state, and several other states have had similar laws for more than a decade. HEA 1296, which I've signed today, entrusts Hoosiers who can lawfully carry a handgun to responsibly do so within our state. It's important to note that if a person is prohibited under federal or state laws from possessing a firearm before this law goes into effect, that person will still be prohibited. And if a prohibited person has a firearm, he or she can be prosecuted. Firearm permits will remain available without fee to anyone who wants or needs one, such as Hoosiers desiring to carry a firearm to through or in another state that has reciprocity with Indiana. Now, the important part here is he went after and said, the U.S. Supreme Court has affirmed this right. DeWine in Ohio said something very similar. He said, I find it consistent with constitutionality. 100%. Now, the piece that I want to bring to your attention is you notice how when we pass pro-gun laws on the conservative side or the pro-gun side, there's never a challenge from the left that says, we're going to sue you because it's unconstitutional, ever. They always go to emotion and fear. However, when they pass anti-gun laws, they come out and say, we're ready for the legal challenges because we think this is consistent and it's not infringing the Second Amendment. It's a very important distinction. We celebrate because we're being constitutional and they react in emotion and fear they celebrate and say, we're ready for the lawsuits because they know it's unconstitutional. It's a very important piece. Now, the one thing that I want to hit here is a Georgia update on the tail end of this video. Georgia, I think, is going to be the 25th state or the 50th percent state, the 50th, the state that puts us in the 50th percentile for constitutional carry in the United States. They now have the House bill. That's the Chairman John Meadows Act, HB 1358. This one is the one that the Senate is pushing forward into the Judiciary Committee. So this is the one that's taking up a lot of energy. That's the one they're pouring into and moving forward. The other bill, the Senate bill, it's not moving the same in the House. So my money, and no one's told me this, but my money is that HB 1358, the bill that passed the House, is going to be the one that is going to be put on the floor for the Senate for a vote, which will then head to Kemp. Now that's the important piece here. 
That's why I think Georgia is going to be the 25th state to do so, which will make me really happy because that's where I'm residing currently right now. Now, that's, that's Georgia. Now, I'm going to tell you about Nebraska. Nebraska has got some situations there. It's like 75% of the way there. There's some amendments that are not great. They might kill them. They might get rid of them. I'm going to give you an update on a separate video at another time. But for now, I'm going to celebrate the fact with you, hopefully, that Indiana is the 24th constitutional carry state in the United States. And Georgia is priming itself to be the 25th, which would put us at 50%. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points. I'm Braden. See you later.